Hey beautiful beings, I just want to show you what I'm doing. This was a white flower, the whole thing was white. Okay, so I took tropical orange and I painted it. And then I put, I sprayed it. One squirt with vintage photo. Then I took hologram and put it on there. And then I took Mod Bodge and I put it on this side, okay? And I put it on this, just to stiffen them, and then I bent them. Took these up and bent them like this. And now I'm gonna apply Mod Bodge to them because I'm trying to get them stiff so it's not so flat. And I used this color because it matched Arnie Maze's moth, okay? So that's done. Now, I want to do this, but I'm going to do this part last because this was not red. All I did was take from my red that I was using, recollections. I just took what was left on my anchor and went like that, but I want to do that last because some of the inks do smear. Yeah, I would do all that before you put your little clip thing, whatever it is, paper clip, post pen, whatever you're putting there. Okay, I would do that first because I'll stiffen it for you so it don't rip on you. And then, I, oh, I did add two little beads to that. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. Forgot to show you this. I took paint, I took a white pearl, and I put this paint on here because it matched this flower and I painted it let it dry then I just added a little tiny bit of hologram you don't even have to add that and then I put it with my Bodge and it is dry and I'm gonna glue that there after everything else is dry I did a video on this my regular viewers know but if you haven't seen that I think it's in quick tips okay I'll be back Okay, beautiful beings, I got the creepy crop, creepy cloth here, <laughs> cause I wanna, that's where I want it. So I want her right up against it. So let's glue her down. Just to make sure all the bubbles are gone. All right now, we got her down. I'm gonna put down the. I thought this was called creep cloth, but I looked it up and it says creepy cloth. <sighs> so I don't know. But I want that down here, but I kind of want. I want to put this is Artie Maze's from. Another thing you can get from her Etsy shop, right here. Okay, I cut cut that one off here. Just go to Artie Maze on Etsy. Free printables. Buy her a cup of coffee. Put your email address in, and she will send you. Printables. Right. I want this here, but I don't really. I want some on the other side. So I think we're gonna pull this off. Didn't damage it too bad. And I just want to glue this down, like right there. I mentioned I inked around the edges with black. I want that like right here. So we'll 
glue this down. straight now I'm thinking her neck's too low dang it because I have this for her neck that is too low Just enough, not too much. Back up. Right, got this all done down there. All right, let me close up my Mod Podge and wash my fingers. Okay, beautiful beings. This beautiful woman. I don't like this part right here. So we're gonna make a dangly headband, like an old-fashioned one. It comes down the side and across here. Okay. Here's that, and I couldn't sew it because the needle would not go through because of the bead. So I glued it, and I got it set in there. And this is the other piece. And these were white leaves, and I sprayed them with Distress Oxide Spray Spice Marmalade. Marmalade, marmalade. It's either marmalade or marmalade. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna sew them, or not sew them. I'm gonna glue these down to the lace carefully move this up to there and I just want see I don't like that showing there but I guess it's okay that's how I want that and that's gonna be her headpiece can you see if that's straight I don't think it is I've been having a hell of a heck of a time with this thing but I really don't like that showing That's gonna be our headpiece. It's gonna be dangling. Like I said, I don't want to move that. Maybe I can just glue it on now. Let's go up a little bit. I don't know about this. I want to stick there. Maybe a pearl or something. Sorry, I'm gonna wipe the table off. Alright. Then the headband is gonna go right along here so we will cover that rip too just want that to be off to the side like that okay I 
think that looks pretty good except for that. So maybe I should color another leaf. I'll stick that there. What a pain in the butt, but it's worth it because she's going to look beautiful. She don't look like a gypsy, does she? <laughs> I don't want her to look like a gypsy. I want it to be an old-fashioned headband. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, beautiful beings. Anyway, sorry, it took a long time. I will fast forward, <laughs> but I think I got it. I just, it was too dark here and I didn't like it. Right in this area. Okay. Well, I could probably continue now. I could probably continue now. Just make sure you're in view. I have different ideas. I kind of want this up here like this. So let's just glue that down. But we have to get the edges off of this. Oh, this is what I want to do. Let's do that. Here, let me put the glue lid on. This. I wanted to curve this in here. Curve this up in here just to give it a different look, but I didn't want to cut out the design just like that in the middle. Okay, I don't know if I need any more ink on here. I don't want to ink that. And then we we'll glue this on here. I think it looks better like that. So let's do that. While you're waiting for the headband to dry, I'm afraid to touch it now because I don't want it any more screwed up. I'm kind of thinking it's not down low enough the more I look at it. <laughs> but I'm afraid to touch it now. Pretend like she has a big forehead, huh? <laughs> I couldn't put a dress on her. I could only put a choker on her. So I wanted to do a little more and hide that black spot. Okay, I'm gonna stick this on here. Like that, and then that piece will be done. I'm getting glue all over my hair. And I think it looks better with a little curve in there instead of just, yeah, I'm going to have to wash my hands, beautiful beans. I'm getting dry glue on stuff. All right. And do you guys think that should be down further? I'm thinking it should, and I'm afraid to move it. I'm not trying to be, I'm just, <laughs> that flower, it's like, that flower is too close to her eye. All right, I gotta quit. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna let this dry. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings, let's get this glued down. This creep cloth. I'm just gonna put some here. Glue 
glue and then put some here, some over here. I got some here to hide it, I think. Hopefully. Line there. Hide it a little bit. Don't matter, it dries clear, so we're good. Just wanna make sure I don't cover up the label up here, the snout oil label. Then up over here. There we go, and then all I do is put glue on the back and wrap it down. Over it. That's what I did on the bottom. Okay, but for down here, I moved this from here because I want it over here because I'm going to put Auntie Maze's moth here. And I have some of that foam. I'm going to use a thin one. I'm going to cut a piece of foam off of this. I don't want it too long. I want it as long as the body so it pops up a little bit. Get this at Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to put some glue on this side and put it on our little moth. Then I'm going to tear paper off. Probably should have done that before I try to glue it down. Hear that squealing, it's my dryer. It likes to make noise. Right now I probably need more glue down. Just a little bit down there for him. Make sure he sticks good. And I did take a little bit of Mod Podge and put it on here because those were kind of flimsy. I didn't want to break them off, them to break off, so I put a little Mod Podge, just a little bit on front and back here. It's little legs and antlers. And I'm gonna take some glue and put it here. And I'm thinking this way. Put them right here that but now he's popped up because we're, we put our little I call them pop-ups but they're foam foam adhesives <laughs> but we put our little pop-up there so now he's popped up okay and now I'm gonna glue the flower over here that's why I moved it from here because that just didn't look right I want it in the middle to tell you the truth but if I put it here I could probably put it there I just don't want to cover up the birdie bird. Just don't want to cover the bird bird, so we can probably put it over a little bit. A little bit. Like right there. Like that. And it says, Druggist and Apotha. Apothecary, druggist apothecary, and then it says number, date, dose, and 18 for 1800s, whatever date it was. <laughs> okay, and then this thing, I kind of want to hide that just right here. I you know what I made this out of. This is what I first started crafting years ago. I'd keep, you know, the ribbon that came and it has the the wire in it well that's what I did I pulled the wire out and then I took these beads that were too small to fit through a needle head and I put them on there and then I would tie two knots at the bottom <laughs> but that's how I made that just in case you have some you want to get rid of but I want to glue that to hide that plus so the beads don't fall off 
but uh, hey, you know, I could would have thought of that. I could have glued it right there. I could have glued it under that black. Let's see. I don't think I can get it in there now. Pull it up a little bit. Glue it back down. I didn't think of that. I just don't want to rip anything. It'll fit right in there too. I'm trying to see see what I'm doing. Stick it in there. Glue it. That's probably what I'll do, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, now we got this glued down. The idea of this was to put the flower here and tie this. I just make it look like it's hanging here. All I did was took a piece, a scrap of the creep, creep cloth and I put it in there. And these, I forgot to tell you, these are from Apothecary Jars for free printables and labels from Navaj Patch, the NavajPatch.com. Buy her a cup of coffee, print them out, she'll send them to your email. But that's what this one was right there. Okay, she has different prints, for labels for bottles. Yeah, I was thinking this, and then I forgot the pearl. I put a pearl on her for an earring right here. That was probably way too much glue. Down there. So we're gonna put an earring right there for her. She don't look like a gypsy, right? <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I just hope she don't look like a gypsy. I wanted that old-fashioned hair thing they used to wear. Right. But anyway, I want to hang this here, but not too low. But we have to do our potion bottle first. And what I did with this, I screwed that in. And I don't know if it'll stay. But you can get these at Walmart. And I think they come in five or six. And this is a Tim Hortz thing, okay? And I wanna put a little glue in this right there. So it goes down in. When it goes down in the glue, hopefully the glue will go down in with it. Now if I could find the middle again. And then you just screw it on that until it stops or you think it's down enough I kind of want it way down because I want to put a piece of string on it there see all right I gotta wipe my hands off now, we're gonna put something in the jar. I got this and this. And I don't have no idea where I got this, I'm sorry. I got it years and years ago in Clarence. And this, I think, is resin for drying. You take a heat gun and, but it doesn't work very good. It's very cheap resin, it doesn't work very well. So I'm just gonna, put it some in this jar because it matches the orange I'm using so hopefully I can do this without making a mess set that aside move that out of the way and set this out of the way then we're gonna put some of this I think it's just broke up like it looks like metallic metallic on something and they broke it up I don't think it's eggshell I'm not sure I'm not sure but we're gonna put a little bit of that in that 
in a little more just in case it gets mixed up. And that's what that's going to look like. Just a little potion for our potion jar. Move this out of the way. And then put the lid back on. Make sure it's down in there good and tight. I probably should glue that, huh? I don't even know if it'll glue. This is plastic. I don't know, some plastics don't like the glue, but I'm gonna try to glue it. Some glue around here. I'm gonna stick that in there. And hopefully it stays in there. Oh, I was thinking maybe I should, where's the orange one? I don't know what it looked like, but let's try it. <clears throat> let's take some of that orange, or even a gold, put some where that glue is. Here, just a little bit. And then we'll put some gold on the other side. Why not? Why not? Just out of the way. Put this one here. There. All right, <laughs> enough of that. And then I was gonna take this, put it through. Probably should go down, huh? Like this. Just wanna make sure it goes through there like that keep going so I can grab it pull it out here check probably should have checked that before I did that or we can just glue it down here but I wanted it to kind of hang yeah it's long enough I can still glue it and the same with this I think I'm just gonna tie a knot. Uh-oh, did I just take that out? Almost. This one. Now you need to move back up. All right. It just come out. Take this one. Through here. And then I'll just glue that on the back so it hangs. This. I'm gonna be careful because everything's still wet. So let's put some glue on the back. So we got this. And I hope that flower looks good. <laughs> I hope it does. And then I got these. Probably should have made that longer. But I don't even think oh, that's not glued down. So let's glue down the flower that we made. Let's see the effect of that. See how I folded it and then put Maj Baj to get that pop up effect. We want that a little bit down because we want this to show right here. But with this, to hold this, that should have been longer, I think. I'm thinking that should have been longer. Just take one and put it back here. See how that's gonna hang. No, hang like that. That's fine like that. And then I got this little strip here. What I'm gonna do. Make sure I get the right string. It's right there. And we're gonna put that little strip here. That was showing on the other side. Get a little 
strip over it, hold it down. Just make sure you can't see it on this side. And then over here, basically the same thing. I don't think we'll need a strip. And then it'll hang down like that. If I should move that up or let it tangle down. I think I'll just let it dangle down to there. I'll do the same thing. I'm trying to be careful. I want to get this uploaded. <clears throat> On InShot, that's where I do this. You have to do all the editing in shot, do what you want, fast forward, put words in, write something, whatever. And then you got to upload it to your camera and that takes a while. And then it depends on how long the video is. That's why I've been trying to keep them 15 minutes, but it doesn't seem to be working because it's faster. And if they're longer than 15 minutes, it takes a while to upload your phone and plus it takes then when it uploads to your phone then you got to upload them to youtube that's why in case you're wondering why i'm trying to keep them shorter it's just easier on me all right that's that i'm gonna turn you sideways and i still gotta fix that but here it is full view and I'll show you a close up when it's dry and I still gotta fix this. But everything's glued. I think she looks adorable. I think the earring helped because she looks so sad. <laughs> Doesn't she look sad? <laughs> You're probably thinking she looks dead but she just looks tired and sad to me. <laughs> but I hope that it has the effect I like. I hope it don't look like a gypsy. Okay. When this is dry, I'll come back and give you a close-up. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's the end result of our potion bottles. I'll give you a close-up of both of them. Druggist in Apothecary. Apothecary. Sorry. And then her little moth from Auntie Mays. Auntie Mays. And her choker. And her earring. Then her headband coming down the side of her face. She looks tired in that one. <laughs> okay, and the toad and broom stick. Purveyors of the finest spices, potions, and spells. Single drop is. <laughs> See that? Single drop is enough for enough to find. Forever love potion. Extremely, extremely powerful. Use sparingly. And then our flower and our potion bottle we made. And our label for the neck and our cork. And I wanted to show you this standing up. Okay. I think they turned out really nice. This one, she'll be standing up. Love brew. 20 millimeters per day, death may result. Then her dress, her choker, her flowers, Artemis bat, and the neck of the bottle tag, frog butts, and her cork. Okay. And I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making these. Okay, have a wonderful everything.